In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a design template to a personal portfolio website application built with Laravel. The starting point of our video is the result of our previous video. If you haven't seen that, I will link that in the description down below. On the end of this video, the home page will look like this. The dashboard will look like this and the not found page will look like this. Now let's work around on adding the design template on this home page. For that, I have created the template of the design. You can find it in video description. For me, the design template are in desktop directory. I'm going to press this template on my portfolio app project in public folder. Let's create a folder called templates and go in portfolio templates folder copy all the content and pass it into the template project directory. I do that for needs of this video. You can put it where you want. Now let's go in VS Code project on public, on template, on front end. Copy all the content of this index.html file and go on resources on views, on pages, on home, into this index.bread.php file, remove this title and paste it here. Now when we visit this home URL and reload this page, you can see the home page change, which is better. So we'll go back in VS Code in index.bread.php over here move this into a Laravel helper called asset let's do the same here move this into a Laravel helper called asset and here move this into a Laravel helper called asset And then here, remove this into a rather variable called asset. Now I'm going to put some part of this index file in a small component because there is a part of page we can reuse in other pages. So, So let's first create in views a folder called layouts. In the layouts folder, create a folder called pages. In pages folder, create a file called base.blade.php. Let's go back into the index file. Remove this from here and paste it into base.bread.php and go back in views pages home directory into this index file remove this from here to base.bread.php file over here in this main tag red add a yield content now let's go in views layouts pages directory, create a file called header.bread.php and go in base file, remove this from here and put it into our header.bread.php. Alright, and go back in base.bread.php file, include a header file from layouts pages directory. Let's continue by going in views layout pages directory, create a file called footer.blade.php and go in base.blade.php file, remove this from here.
as to get a hot reload when we change something in development. Now, let's go on views, on pages, on home, in index.blade.php file. Over here, add an extend with layouts, pages, base. and add a station content here and then close this session over here all right we finished here to add the template to this home page let's use the same logic and create an admin dashboard page and then add the design template we need first the roots so let's create it by going on roots in web.php file over here add another root which will handle a get request with slash admin slash dashboard url and create a method in dashboard controller called index And the root name will be dashboard.index. We need to import this controller from controllers directory, but we haven't created this controller for a moment. So let's create it by going on terminal and run php artisan make controller and then add the name of our controller it is dashboard controller located in admin folder right the dashboard controller is created we'll go back in web.php file import this controller from controller now we are going to create this index method in dashboard controller let's navigate to app http controller in dashboard controllers create over here a function index which will return an index view from admin home in the home directory we haven't created this admin home directory so let go on Rossus on views, create a folder called admin. On admin, create a folder called home. On home folder, create a file called index.bread.php. Into this file, let's add a hello message. Now, when we visit this slash admin slash dashboard url you can see this admin page here with hello message now let's walk around on adding the design template of this admin home page for that i have created the template for the design placed on public folder on template on backend in dashboard.html file copy all the content and paste it into index.bread.php file located on views admin home directory now when we visit this slash admin slash dashboard path we can see this admin dashboard change which is better so we'll go back in vs code in index.bread.php file over here move this into a laravel helper called asset let's do the same logic move this into a laravel helper called asset here move this into a laravel helper called asset And then here, move this into a Laravel helper called asset. Now I'm going to put some part of this index file in small component because it is a part of this page that we can use in other admin pages. Red first create in views, layouts directory, a folder called admin. In admin folder, create a file called base.bread.php file. Now, We'll go back on views admin home directory into this index file remove this from here to base.bread.php file 
locate it in layout admin directory and go back on views admin home directory into this index file remove this from here to base.bread.php file over here in the main tag red add a yield content now let's go back in views layouts admin directory create file called header.bread.php and go in base.bread.php file include a header file from layouts admin directory let's continue go in views layouts admin directory create a file called sidebar.bread.php and go in base.bread.php file remove this from here go into our sidebar file paste it here and then go back in base.bread.php file includes a sidebar file from layouts admin directory now let's go on views on admin on home in index.bread.php over here add an extent with layouts admin base and then add a session content here and move this into the session content now let's go in welcome.bread.php copy this if condition and go to paste it into our base.bread.php file over here all right We finish to add the template of this admin home page. Let's use the same logic and create a, file, a not found page and add design template. Now, when we visit the URL which is not exist in this app, we are redirected to the not found page. Instead of show this page, we need to show our own custom not found page. To do that, we need to create the roots in web.php file over here which we get with get request to any URL and the return view code not found page when this url is not exist we haven't created this not found page let's create it on views folder and add the design from public template backend in notfound.html copy all the content from here and paste it into our notfound.bread.php now let's go in a layout create a folder called notfound in notfound folder create a file base.bread.php and go on public template backend directory in notfound.html file copy this and go layouts not found directory paste it into base.bread.php let's add a yield content in this body tag over here add an asset laravel helper and go in 
notfound.bread.php file, extend a layout not found base. and add a session content and then move this into a session content now you can see the not found page if you visit the url which is not exist we look like this so let's stay here for the moment in upcoming video we will work around on adding an admin about me information i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified for future training videos thank you for watching